Student athletes Mia Javon Coleman and Paola Caton following the Eagles 3-1 victory over North Carolina Central in the quarterfinal round. Uh, Coach, congratulations on the win. Uh, start us off with an opening statement. Um, I'm just proud of um, them and their ability to come back. Uh, and during the season, we lost a tough one to them, 3-2. So the fact that we can come back and, and reset and play the way we should be playing um, is really good. Cool. So I'm proud of, of them and finishing the game. Questions for Coach Walsh or the student athletes? Uh, Coach. Coach. So talk, talk about the differences between that meeting at the PEC and the meeting here. What what did y'all what did y'all do um, that that was successful today? Yeah, I think Pete was a big factor. So um, she didn't play front row against them too much um, in the first match. So I think she's really come along. She's really grown and given us an additional outlet um, on offense. And I think that we served really well today. I think we passed really well, and that's really what wins games. So. Um, I think if we keep serving well and passing well, we're going to keep winning. So I'm excited. Okay, after the first set that you won, second set they came at you and vengeance took a big lead, seven point lead, won about five or six points. What was the difference between set number one and set number two? I think just the energy. Uh, we, we're still young, so we um, I'm not sure we expect the big things all the time. So we kind of got comfortable in the second set, and it just they took advantage of it for sure. So we were able to bounce back and regain and reset, and that's what we did in the third and fourth set. Um, Miyaj, you want to talk about the energy with this team and how and how has it been key for you, for this team this season? The energy with this team is really key that we're consistent with our energy. Um, whenever we come in hard and strong, we finish hard and strong, and whenever we don't, we don't. It's, it's really clear that we have to be consistent with our energy, and it showed between the first and second set. And going to the fourth set, you all had a big lead. They came back at you. They came up to within two points. What was going on, and what helped you get to that final several points? Um, uh, one thing we practice a lot is being composed, and I think we learned really well how to understand the pressure of the game, but still play it as well as we can. Um, Paola, the, talk about the serving the serving game today. How has it been key for y'all today? Um, I think we came in hard, and we were. Um, Consistently, like looking at our coach to see where to hit, uh, where to serve, and um, we were we didn't make too many errors this time, so that was really important because anytime we have a really good serving game, everything else tends to fall back into place, and so that was really important to for us. Now, even though you all were leading most of the third and fourth set, when they call a timeout, did that kind of change your way of thinking about things, or did it give you a chance to more settle down on certain things? I think it gives us an opportunity to regain. And it's an opportunity for us to talk about what we need to do better um, and what we need to get out of that rotation inside out. So it's a it's actually a bonus for us. Yeah. We take advantage of it. So on that last controversial point, when they finally said it was your point, your met your set, your match, how'd you feel then? Really proud. Because I know how hard we've been working for it. So it's just comforting to know that the guys came to the first. And it was just, it was absolutely amazing. I was like, oh gosh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Um, that would be the longest minute moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, talk about the play of uh, Ashley t today. Um, yes, so defensively. Ashley is the uh, first team libero for the MEAC. She's a freshman. She is just. Um, something that we need in this program. She's She passes, she digs, she moves, she's quick. Um, she does a lot for us um, defensively and in server city. So she's a huge part of this team. Um, and we are grateful that she chose to be an Eagle. Uh, also, the player, Brianna Lang, critical aces, I think, in that fourth game to, to really get get things started and uh, set the pace. How, how huge is that? Brianna serving is, is great. Um, so. She gets in her head a little bit sometimes, like we all do. I mean, Mimi does a pitting, he does a pitting. Um, so it's just part of growing and maturing. But uh, she's done a really, really good job behind the line for us. And, and if we can gain two, three, four, five points uh, with Bree back there, that's exactly what we need to, to get rolling. So she's a key, key factor in our serve. Also the play is Salma Gonzalez. She she really stepped up for you all today, too. Yeah, Salma's a huge addition to the, to the squad as well. Um, I really do think that we have 
15 girls who all contribute very well to the team. So people stand out a little more because they have the opportunity to play. However, I think in practice, I mean, it's competitive. We score every single day. Um, you know, we're constantly in a cauldron system and getting points and trying to win. So the girls make it, all 15 of them make it um, who we are and how we play. How, how do you, how do, what, what's the plan for tomorrow? How do you guys uh, try to get um, get the job done again tomorrow night against whoever? Serving packs. And some consistency. Yes. For sure, for sure, for sure. This question is for Coleman. Um, the biggest difference between your first tournament last year and coming back to the tournament this year, obviously the result is different, but are you more comfortable in year two as opposed to year one? Yes, I was just about to say experience. Experience is really key for us. Um, we came in really deep and really young, and I think now, again, we learned how to be composed and be comfortable with the pressure that's placed upon us. So I think the difference mainly is experience. And going into the into the match, being healthy, that had to be key for you all today because nobody with arm or hand injuries, so you all seem to be able to just, just um, have players go in and out whenever you need it. Yeah, um, so we, I mean, our athletic training staff, our strength coach, they work with them closely. Um, and the girls had a recovery day on Wednesday. We had a day off. Uh, yesterday's practice was kind of late. We just kind of ran through things. So, um, you know, they know how to take care of their bodies. Um, so that's definitely been a positive thing for us as well. We haven't had any big major injuries uh, this season. So that's been definitely an advantage for us. Um, we have time for one more question. For the players, um, the, the role of Brianna Lang, how, how has she been a, a help to you all thus far this season? I mean, her position is literally vital to everyone else. So, I mean, without her, we, we couldn't be here. Anytime she's on the court, um, whenever she's up, our energy seems to go ahead and follow hers a lot. Um, and she's also, and she communicates, and that's really important whenever we are playing. Um, she tells us something's right ahead, and she'll tell us who we would like to pass, and it's just, it's really nice. All right. Congratulations again on the win. Thank you. Thank you.